la 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 like this video and share it if you find it helpful so in today's video i'm going to talk about how to become an air traffic controller right here in jamaica so if you aren't already subscribed to this channel be sure to click that big red button that says subscribe and subscribe because it really helps the channel so i'm filming <laughs> too soon eh? so i'm filming this video after coming off the night shift yeah so forgive me if i look a little tired but that's a thing to note that air traffic controllers work on ships because aviation never sleeps right airplanes are always flying and most most people who work in aviation whether you're a pilot an air traffic controller airport operations you might be working around the clock so that's something to consider if it is that you want to be an aviation professional um, and how it will affect your social life, your physical health, and your just overall wellness. If you watch this video up here where I talked about um, being marshaled at an airport in Naples, you will hear me say that the person with the sticks at the airport is not an air traffic controller, right? So that's the first thing, let's just get that straight. No offense to these people, but they are not air traffic controllers, right? So basically, an air traffic controller is a person who works at either the tower and approach control location or center right and those people are responsible for the safe and expeditious and orderly flow of air traffic through their airspace so let's just get that clear and basically next to air traffic control as well at the setup here in jamaica you have people called flight data processors which is what i am so i am essentially essentially because yeah essential worker hey essentially an assistant air traffic controller and i always tell people that because it's easier to explain in terms of you know what my functions are instead of saying instead of trying to explain what a flight data processor is but basically a flight data processor handles flight data so anything related to an airplane that's about to traverse or enter or leave our airspace we are responsible for coordinating the time that it's going to enter our airspace you know over what point or like what position it's going to enter our airspace and basically talking to the surrounding airspaces or the next airspace that's going to get that aircraft and what the controller does is the person actually issues control instructions to aircraft so those are the people who tell people climb flight level 350 descend and maintain flight level 290 or zero things like that right so you have the air traffic controller and you have the assistant aka me so in order to become an air traffic controller in jamaica first of all i would recommend that you are someone who is interested in aviation now that's not necessarily a requirement on paper but if you are actually interested in aviation whether you like airplanes you like you know taking pictures from the sky or you want to be a pilot or anything like that it's good for you to be interested in some aspect of aviation in order to become an air traffic controller or become anything in aviation for that matter because the interest and the passion and the love for it will basically fuel you because being in aviation is not the easiest thing but it's very rewarding so i would say have an interest in aviation if you don't have an interest and you're just chasing money or status or whatever it might not work out for you just saying an interest or background in aviation will help you because if it is that you're a pilot already for example you already know phraseology you know you already know what air traffic controllers expect of pilots so it helps to make you a more well-rounded aviator or aviatrix or aviation professional or whichever term you want to identify with and it's helpful because you if you are someone who loves aviation it would also be something that's enjoyable for you and we like happy people in aviation because hey it can be stressful so we want you to enjoy what it is that you're doing so the main thing i want to talk about in this video is your qualifications to become an air traffic controller so let's take it back to high school days right when you're in high school you want to be focusing on subjects that are science-based so the math the integrated science the chemistry the physics 
right? Geography is another subject that's good for air traffic control because you have to know the topography of your airspace and you know any terrain in the area. Those things are good for you to know because those can tailor you and help to prepare you for a career in aviation, specifically air traffic control. In terms of what degrees are required for air traffic control, specifically in Jamaica, you have to already have a first degree in order to qualify for an air traffic control position. So your degree could be in mathematics, engineering, information technology. As I mentioned before, if you're already a pilot, that's already a good plus for you because you have knowledge of phraseology and just the theory of flight and all of that. that they basically teach you that when you go to ATC school here in Jamaica. So being a pilot or having some formal experience in flight school or ground training, that's helpful if you want to become an air traffic controller here in Jamaica. The next thing that qualifies you to be an air traffic controller in Jamaica is your age. So I don't think you can be older than 26 years old, but it I think it might be on a case by case basis because as I mentioned before, if you already have experience in aviation, maybe they could make an exception um, for you if you are past the age limit. But you can check the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority's website and contact them for anything that you want to find out about you know becoming an air traffic controller jamaica i leave their website link in the description box below the next thing that qualifies you to be an air traffic controller in jamaica is the ability to pass the aptitude test or the psychometric testing and interview process right and you can watch aeronautical club of the west in this video where they interview two air traffic controllers here in jamaica for an idea of what you know the aptitude test entails as well as a former air traffic controller from jamaica romeo tango atc you can check out his channel as well for you know what or who is an air traffic controller and basically what is required of you to be able to pass those testing that you have to go through he was also interviewed by Aviation Club Jamaica and he talked about, you know, how he became an air traffic controller and what it requires. So you can watch those videos and I'll link all of them in the description box so you can hear from air traffic controllers how they became air traffic controllers. The other thing that qualifies you or disqualifies you from becoming an air traffic controller in Jamaica is your ability to pass an aviation medical. And I'll have a separate video where I talk about aviation medicals as it relates to flying and also as it relates to air traffic control. But you have to be able to pass an aviation medical exam um, and you also have to pass a hearing test which is a part of your medical exam because you'll be listening to a lot over a long period of time and we have to make sure say so your ears them yet up there. All right, so now we move on to training. So I mentioned previously that you have to apply to become an air traffic controller in Jamaica. And there's really no school, like a high school or a degree program that you do to become an air traffic controller. But we actually have our own Civil Aviation Authority Training Institute. So after you apply and pass the aptitude test and the hearing test and the psychometric testing, you are actually assigned to the C-A-A-T-I or the CATI as we say in Jamaica. But yeah, they take you and they train you. So you are basically hired until you pass, you know, that training program. And the training usually takes the form of classroom training where you do theory and then simulation where you're actually in a simulator room, similar to what pilots do. Um, when they're working on instrument rating, they're just generally, you know, trying to practice how to fly. You actually have simulation and then you move on to on-the-job training. And then you're rated to work as either an, a flight data processor or an air traffic controller. So in terms of growth, there's basically, there is levels to this, you know, flight levels in air traffic control in Jamaica. So as I mentioned previously, I am a flight data processor, which is basically the bottom rung of the air traffic control ladder, right? So they take you, train you as a flight data processor, and eventually when they need more air traffic controllers, those same people who start out as flight data processors basically matriculate up through the system to become 
tower controllers, approach controllers, and en route controllers. And I'll explain that a little later in this video. So the flight data processor, AKA me, I assist the air traffic controllers, right? And then they put you through training to become an aerodrome controller, right? So an aerodrome controller is a person who works at the air traffic control tower, right? And then the next level to that is approach controller. Now in the past in Jamaica, I think the approach control was located at the tower along with tower control, but right now it's located at the center. Right, which is the air traffic control center so um, I hope you're with me so far you start out as an FDP you become an ADC then you become an APC and then you become an ENR right an en route controller or an area controller and that person in the Jamaican context is responsible for the entire airspace and I'll show you guys a map or an outline of the airspace of Jamaica. It's on skyvector.com. You can actually look at it, the layout. You won't be able to see all the routes that make up our airspace, but you will have some idea in terms of the location and position of our routes, right? So the, air, the area or en route controller is responsible for all the overflights. Right? And when I say overflights, I mean the ones that do not land here in Jamaica. So because of Jamaica's central location in the Caribbean, a lot of our routes go north to south. Right, So anybody leaving from North America to South America and back, they overfly our airspace even though they don't land here. So the en route or air controller is responsible for keeping those aircraft separated by applying, you know, controlling skills. So to wrap up, to become an air traffic controller in Jamaica, you need to have an interest in aviation. You need to meet the age, medical, educational requirements. And you also need to be able to pass the training program at the local Civil Aviation Training Institute to become an air traffic controller. Let me know in the comments section what other aviation jobs in Jamaica you would like me to discuss. See you in my next video, which is about to come up right here on your screen. To become an air traffic control is <laughs> also, oh my gosh, I'm tired. You, to, you do to do it. Because of Jamaica's position, we are, what time about the stairs now? Many about?